Semantic segmentation is a type of image analysis that involves dividing an image into multiple segments or regions, each of which correspond to a different objects or background in the image. In order to evaluate the performance of a semantic segmentation algorithm, some common semantic segmentation metrics include intersection over union, mean intersection over union, and pixel-wise accuracy. So these three metrics are commonly used to measure the performance of the segmentation model. However, precision, recall, and F-score can also be used to measure the performance of the semantic segmentation model. These metrics are often used in combination to provide the comprehensive evaluation of a semantic segmentation algorithm. By analyzing the results of these metrics, researchers and practitioners can gain insight into the strengths and weaknesses of their segmentation approach and make improvements as needed. So what is intersection over union metric? So here you can see intersection over union is equal to area of overlap divided by area of union. So basically intersection over union compares the area of overlap between the predicted segmentation and the ground truth segmentation to the total area of the two segmentation combined. So the main intersection over union is a metric used to evaluate the performance of a semantic segmentation model which measures the number of pixels common between the target and the prediction masks divided by the total number of pixels present across both masks. As here you can see in the formula, intersection over union is equal to target intersection predicted. So this intersection between target and predicted is comprised of the common pixels found in both the prediction mask and the ground truth mask that is divided by target union predicted. So the union between target and predicted comprised of all the pixels found in either the prediction or the target mask. So let's consider this example to understand more clearly the concept of intersection over union. So the first image is the ground truth image and here you can see a woman. And the second image is the predicted image. Here you can see the predicted number of pixels for a woman that is predicted by the model. So let's say this is A. The ground truth pixels of the woman, let's say this is represented by A and the pixel predicted by the model, let's say it's B. So the in third image you can see A intersection over B. So here you can see in the third image it contains only the common pixels between the ground truth and the predicted mask. So the intersection between the ground truth or target and the predicted comprised of the common pixels between these two. And in the fourth image you can see A union B. Here you can see it will consist all the pixels of the ground truth and the predicted pixels. I hope this example makes sense to you to understand the concept of intersection over union. So the next is the main intersection over union measure to calculate the performance of the segmentation model. So to calculate the main intersection over union, first you need to calculate the intersection over union for each class and then average over all classes to provide a global mean intersection over union score for the semantic segmentation predictions. So in simple words, you have to take the average of the intersection over union for each class. So here you can see in the formula, main intersection over union is equal to the average of the intersection over union. Here you can see the intersection over union for all classes where i is equal to 1 to n, where n represents the number of classes. So here is the sum of the intersection of a union for all classes and then divided by the total number of classes 1 by n. So this is the average of the intersection over union for all classes. So the main intersection over union is simply the average intersection over union across all classes in the dataset. It is useful measure because it takes into account both the accuracy and the spatial relationship between the predicted and the ground truth segmentation. TP, TN, FP and FN are the terms used in context of evaluating the performance of a model. So what are these terms? TP means true positive, TN means true negative, FP means false positive and FN means false negative. These values are used to calculate the various metrics such as accuracy, precision, recall and F1 score which are used to evaluate the performance of the model. So let's consider an example to understand these terms. Suppose you have a model that is designed to predict whether a patient has a certain disease or not. If the model predicts that a patient has a disease and the patient actually has the disease, so this is a true positive prediction. If the model predicts that a patient does not have the disease and the patient actually does not have the disease, that is a negative prediction. 
If the model predicts that a patient has the disease but the patient actually does not have the disease, this is a false positive prediction. And finally, if the model predicts that a patient does not have the disease but the patient actually does have the disease, this is a false negative prediction. So these terms are basically used to calculate the accuracy, precision, recall and F-score. So what is pixel accuracy measure? Pixel accuracy is a metric that is also used to evaluate the performance of a semantic segmentation model. It is calculated by dividing the total number of correctly classified pixels by the total number of pixels in the image. So if a model has a high pixel accuracy, it means that it is able to correctly classify most of the pixel in the image. And here is the formula to calculate the pixel accuracy. True positive plus true negative divided by true positive plus true negative plus false positive plus false negative. Precision can also be used to measure the performance of the model. It is calculated by taking the number of true positive pixels means the number of pixels that are correctly labeled as belonging to a specific class divided by the total number of positive pixels predicted by the model means the number of pixels that the model thinks belong to that class. So if a model has a high precision it means the most of the pixel that it predicts belong to a specific class. So here is the formula of the precision. Precision is equal to true positive divided by true positive plus false positive. And next measure is the recall. It is calculated by taking the number of true positive pixels means the number of pixels that are correctly labeled as belonging to a specific class divided by the total number of actual positive pixels in the image means the number of pixels that actually belong to that class. So if a model has a high recall it means that it is able to correctly identify most of the pixels that belong to a specific class. So here you can see the formula of the recall. Recall is equal to true positive divided by true positive plus false negative. And the last measure or the last performance metric is the F-score. F-score also known as F1 score. The F1 score is also a metric used to evaluate the performance of a semantic segmentation model. It is calculated by taking the harmonic mean of the model's precision and the recall where precision is the number of true positive pixels divided by the total number of positive pixels predicted by the model and recall is the number of true positive pixels divided by the total number of actual positive pixels in the image. The F1 score is a good metric to use when you want to balance precision and recall and it ranges from 0 to 1 with a higher score indicating better performance. So here you can see the formula of the F1 score. F1 score is equal to 2 into precision into recall divided by precision plus recall. Now let's switch to the Google Colab so that we can see the code for performance measures. So here is the code for the performance measures. Here you can see the intersection over union. So here is the code for intersection over union. And here you can see the F score and here is the code for this we have seen already the formula so here you can see the accuracy the pixel wise accuracy and here you can see the recall metric and finally here you can see the precision metric and here is the code to calculate the precision so let's run this code so here you can see so there are a few helper function above this to calculate these metrics here you can see there are helper functions so here you can see the recall and precision and accuracy and here also you can see the f scores so there are helper functions as well so these are the helper function to calculate the intersection over union here you can see the function we have defined the intersection over union and here you can see it's calculating the intersection over union using the target and the predicted helper function for the f score and here is calculating the F score and here is helper function to calculate the accuracy and helper function for the precision and then helper function for the recall. So there are few helper functions to calculate it and here we already seen the classes, classes for intersection over union and F score and also accuracy and precision. And here are finally our metrics. So we have defined the intersection over union. Actually we are passing threshold is equal to 0 0.5 for all the measures. So here you can see the intersection over union, accuracy, F score, recall and precision. So these are all the measures we are gonna use while training the model and while testing the model so that we can evaluate the performance of our models. See you in the next lecture.